Gary, thanks for coming out to the clinic and uh, you're doing a good job. Um, you proved a lot, so I want to take a look here at your underwater. Uh, one thing I've, I've noticed here, I want you to focus on your kicking here. You're kicking from your knees and see how your knees, how bent they're getting right there and there and there. So you need to you need to kick with a straight leg, not completely straight, but you want to kick from your hips and not from your knees. All right. So make sure you try to straighten those knees out because that's just slowing you down. If you if you watch the angle that knee come down, that's just creating resistance. So start kicking from uh, with a straighter leg on that. All right. The other thing I want you to focus: look at the left arm. It's going in. It's going in and starting to go right in that pole right away. And what I look for is where your arms are when one arm enters the water. I look at the other one and there's still the one still down by your side. See down there, there. So I want you to try to glide a little bit longer on that left arm. All right, just hang on that glide just a touch longer. I think you'd be fine. You're overreaching in other words. The arms are coming out and coming in front of your nose instead of straight out from the shoulder. I think if you could put that arm in straight out from the shoulder and extend forward with the from the shoulder, instead of trying to roll that shoulder around a little bit, that'll help that problem out quite a bit. Your pull looks good, your rotation's good. You can see you're overreaching a little bit there. We'll see it more on the above water here in just a second, but your pull looks good. You're really holding that water well now. Really make sure you focus on those hips, rotate the hips. Even though you're rotating, still, still could be a little bit stronger in there and straighten those legs out. Now this, the main thing here, you have your high elbow, high shoulders, that looks good. Uh, look where the hands are going in. See they're all the way over in front of the face, particularly that left arm. Make sure they're straight out from the shoulders, real important. One thing you can do to stop that is watch where those elbows are when you finish the stroke. Try not to let that elbow get back behind your shoulder. Just finish the stroke and bring the elbow out to the side. That causes you to stay straighter and it doesn't cause you to twist up in the front of the stroke. If you, if you throw the shoulder back, you're going to throw the shoulder and overreach in the front. Hopefully those things will help and uh, best of luck to you.